So guys, for the first step, once you're on Google Chrome, you wanna click on the three dots in the top right, and now you wanna click on More Tools. Now, you wanna click on Task Manager, and now this will come up. And then once you're on this, you can disable all the applications, websites, extensions, and things that you find here that you do not need. So for example, I've got Facebook right here, I'm not using it right now, so I'm gonna click on it, and I click on End Process. You can end the process on the other things here that you don't need. Anything that has a puzzle picture on it, like this blue thing right here, I would keep it. But anything else, you want to remove that if you're not using it. And now for the second step, you're going to click on the three dots in the top right. Now, you're going to click on Settings. And then once you're on this, on the left-hand side, you're going to click on System. Now, where it says Continue Running Back when apps on Google Chrome is closed, you want to turn this off. And it's also going to say Show System Notifications about Chrome Features and Tips. You want to turn this off as well. And now for the next step, you're going to click on the three dots in the top right again. And then click on Extensions. And then click on Manage Extensions. And then once you're on this, if there's any extensions here that you don't use, you either want to disable it or you want to remove it. And now for the next step, you're going to click on the three dots on the top right again. And then click on Settings. Now on the left hand side, you're going to click on About Chrome. It's now going to start checking for updates for you. Make sure that your Chrome is fully up to date. And now for the next step, you're going to head over to Search again and type in Check for Updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're going to click on Check for Updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. And then once you complete all these steps for the last step, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.